Hello DC fans, thank you so much for clicking on this video. We have our first sneak peek to the Superman suit David Cornsweet is going to be wearing in not Superman Legacy. They changed the title on us. Oh, we're going to be getting into that first look along with all these little changes being made to the movie along with us speculating on what's actually going to be going down in the film. But this isn't just going to be about my opinion. I need to hear from you guys down below. You see James Gunn has revealed our first glimpse of the suit. Are you happy with the new Superman symbol? Do you like the color and vibrancy, the textures? Aside from wondering about the symbol, what other aspects of the Superman suit are you curious about? A lot of stuff to dive in there. Just make sure you're hitting that like button, subscribe if you haven't already, and well, let's get into it. All right, so today, February 29th, is actually Superman's birthday. I had no idea about that. Kind of cool that he's born on a leap year. And well, with it being Superman's birthday, the internet was going crazy, saying, oh, James Gunn must be planning something. He's going to reveal the full suit today. And you know, part of me didn't think it was going to happen. Although last week, we just had them do the table read. That's where all the cast got together and read the script for the very first time in the same room going through their lines. I didn't know if James Gunn was ready to reveal the suit. While he loves to be online and answer fans all the time he also at the same time doesn't like to reveal too much about the movie and that's where we were just bombarded with terrible ai generated photos online of david corn sweat as superman many of you have probably seen this photo floating around it's completely fake this along with so many other funny photos in fact i was so traumatized and betrayed by all these fake superman photos by the time james gunn revealed the actual suit i was like that's fake that's not real i don't that thing looks ugly anyways I, why would he pick oh that's real Dude, that is gorgeous! And here we have it, my friends. Our first look to David Korn Sweat's Superman symbol that he'll be rocking on his chest. Last week, we were getting all sorts of rumors that James Gunn was going to be taking inspiration from Superman Kingdom Come and using that symbol on his Superman suit. And now we know that is officially the case here. And I gotta say, for the most part... I honestly really love it. I say for the most part because I guess I'm still a little traumatized from the Snyder suit reveal whenever that first came out. My only complaint ever with Henry Cavill's version or Zack Snyder's version of Superman was just the coloring, how dark, dull, and gray it was. I know some people love it, but I just feel like Superman's suit is one that needs to be bright, vibrant, and really just show you a sense of warmth. But I have to remember this is a photo taken on set. It's most likely done on his iPhone. We don't have the full color grading on it. It's not the correct lighting. This could be saturated up I doubt it'll be desaturated for the movie but the texture on it I think is looking really nice I still like the choice of red and gold I think the only small part of this symbol I don't love that much is the gold outlining in this close-up shot of the photo it's not really that noticeable but I think once I look back at it it's gonna be a little different to see gold outline the symbol but hey maybe that looks great and again that's just the smallest thing with the suit I'm still really loving the decision to take inspiration from the Superman Kingdom come suit I know there was a lot of backlash on it at first because people were like no that suit belongs to an older stronger Superman and this whole movie you fired Henry Cavill so you could get your young Superman in there why are you taking a symbol that belongs to an older Superman but I think it's more about the story we're gonna see play out in this new Superman movie as opposed to how old Superman is when he's wearing this symbol the other reason I love the kingdom come symbol is because it doesn't exactly look like an S yes looking at this symbol you can see an S outline and for the most part a lot of the other suits have been a very clear S. And so for a symbol that's supposed to represent an alien race, I feel like this symbol makes sense and doesn't just look like some random letter in our alphabet. It's also worth pointing out that there is a touch of snow on Superman here. And usually when Superman is around snow, it's because he's chilling in his fortress of solitude. I'm sure that's going to play a big part in this movie, is seeing Superman talk to his AI father, learn about his heritage, and how he's supposed to continue on that legacy on Earth now. And well, speaking of legacy, the movie is no longer titled Superman Legacy. In the Instagram post where James Gunn revealed this, he said this on the movie. When I finished the first draft of the script, I called the film Superman Legacy. By the time I locked in the final draft, it was clear the title was Superman. Making our way to you July 2025. And you know what? That's interesting that he's decided to drop Legacy from the title. And if I'm being honest with you guys, I was never crazy about the Superman Legacy title. I always thought it sounded a little, you know, like, oh, okay, Legacy. Superman Legacy. All right, all right. But as time went on on and I kept talking about it I just got used to that being the title and thinking what it could mean for the movie Superman building his Kryptonian legacy what kind of hero he wants to be on earth and stuff like that but 
But uh, James Gunn thought, yeah, maybe it's just best to title it Superman. And this would be the first time we get a movie titled Superman since the Richard Donner, Christopher Reeves version. The Superman movies that we've gotten the past, what, 20 years have either been Superman Returns or Man of Steel. Just going with Superman, I think works. But I also understand the people who don't like the title change because like we've been calling it Superman Legacy for like a year and a half now. It's, <laughs> it feels weird, right? But getting back to talking about the symbol itself, I do want to pay respects to what we've gotten before. Like just comparing it to the Henry Cavill version. I think there was a little bit more love and attention put in to the Henry Cavill Man of Steel symbol. I know some people describe it as being messy and over textured. I really like the Henry Cavill Superman symbol. I always thought it was cool how they put actual Kryptonian writing into the texture of the symbol, the extra outlining and line, and just the kind of way it shimmered on screen. I thought this was a really great symbol. And until I see this David Cornsweet symbol in the actual film with proper lighting, CGI, and action, I'm drawn to say I still prefer the kind of Henry Cavill symbol and that's just me being honest with you guys and trying to show you my little unbiased feel but there are other aspects that could happen in this David Cornsweet suit that could take it to a whole nother level because while we have the symbol basically knocked out there's other aspects of this suit I want to see first off trunks or no trunks I am a big trunks believer put those red tidy whities on David Cornsweet Superman and I'm gonna be one happy camper I know some people think that's like outdated dumb and no way it would work again my argument argument is this is alien fashion it's fashion from another planet here on earth yeah it looks like somebody wearing their underwear on the outside on krypton it could be the coolest thing since sun's glasses also another thing i don't see a lot of people talking about the back of the cape is it gonna be rocking the gold Superman symbol there? I would kinda dig if they put that gold Superman symbol on the back of the cape. And also if they don't do the trunks and they just do a belt, is the belt gonna be gold? Or is the belt gonna be red? Kinda like the new 52 suit. I kind of always like the new 52 suit. I know some people hate that suit. I'm for sure curious about all of those aspects. But right now, even just looking at this, I'm saying they're on the right track. I like the style of the symbol, the shape of it, the colors. There's very little I dislike about it. I think this could be an all-time Superman suit suit once we get the full reveal. Now getting on to the other part about why he chose Kingdom Come Superman to be the inspiration for this suit and symbol, it's gotten us to what the plot of this movie could be about. Now remember, so far the plot of the movie is Superman Legacy tells the story of Superman's journey to reconcile his Kryptonian heritage with his human upbringing as Clark Kent of Smallville, Kansas. He is the embodiment of truth, justice, and the American way guided by human kindness in a world that sees kindness as old fashioned. You know, ever since James Gunn announced Superman Legacy and some of the books that inspired the movie, I went to my shop and started reading. And to be honest with you guys, I never read a Superman comic mainly because I didn't have the biggest interest. Always thought the character was cool, but I never thought like me sitting down and reading his comics could be that interesting. Boy, was I wrong. My favorite one so far has to be Superman Birthright. That's the one I recommend to you. It's just like a great origin storytelling of Superman Lex Luthor, him going from Clark Kent to becoming Superman. A lot of cool stuff I hope ends up going in the movie. But it was also Superman Kingdom Come that like blew my effing mind. And what was Superman Kingdom Come, it basically told the story of an older Superman who is now retired. There are so many superheroes in the future. They're in every corner and Superman just feels like he doesn't need to be one anymore. Well, there's other reasons why but I don't want to spoil it for you but it's gotten to the point where superheroes are a lot like what they are in the boys universe where they're just a-holes they're doing their job for celebrity fame or they're regulated by the government and they just do things out of self-interest for their country as opposed to for the people when it eventually gets so bad that Superman comes out of retirement and shows the world you know what it meant to be a superhero that bright light and so now with us looking at the suit and the inspiration for this symbol it looks like James Gunn is doing a reverse kingdom come story for his Superman movie. We know once we enter this new Superman movie, superheroes are already everywhere. The Justice League might already be formed. That's why the cast is filled with superhero characters. And instead of in like Kingdom Come where Superman is in retirement and having to get out of retirement, it's Superman joining in to this superhero world for the first time and showing the people what it is to be a real superhero. And that's why it seems like he chose the Superman Kingdom Come symbol. And looking at it that way, yeah, that could be very exciting. I'm gonna have to wait and see the movie to see how it turns out because there is a part of me that misses 
racist superhero movies where the superhero was the only hero in that world. We were just so saturated with superhero projects and so many of them coming left and right. I kind of miss the days where you got a Spider-Man movie where it was just Spider-Man there. A Superman movie where it was just him there. But maybe it's more relevant to do a story like this where we do have superheroes literally everywhere. What makes Superman stand out amongst this crowd? Looking at the new Superman that way, I think I can kind of see where James Gunn is going and how he's cooking. And boy, do I hope he delivers. But this is where I throw it off to you guys. You now see your first sneak peek at the suit. What else do you hope to see in the suit? Do you like the inspiration of Superman Kingdom Come coming into this new Superman movie? How do you feel about the title change? Anything and everything, be sure and like, subscribe, follow me on Twitter at 3C Films or on TikTok at 3C Films. But as always, I'm Chris. Take care.